My name is Morgan Lewin, and I have the privilege of chairing the Diversity and Inclusion Committee of the Ask Historians Digital Conference 2021. On behalf of the entire organizing committee, it is my honor to share some closing remarks to this year's conference proceedings. When we began analyzing the different ways in which we wanted to approach our second conference shortly after finishing last year's proceedings, some of us who had participated in its organization, including our newly appointed chair, Lisa Verserfati, expressed our intent to form a new subcommittee that would ensure that our subsequent conferences would adhere to best practices regarding accessibility, inclusivity, and the promotion of diversity. As such, the Diversity and Inclusion Committee was formed which has worked side by side with the other subcommittees with one very clear goal, to guarantee that every aspect of our conference embodied the AH mission. As one of the largest public history forums on the internet, as historians aims to democratize access to academic history, a task that isn't easily achieved, considering that academia in the humanities as a whole continues to struggle with multiple issues when it comes to addressing the deep and lasting wounds caused by white imperialism racism, and settler colonialism. In addition, current events all over the world also make us consider that it is an urgent responsibility of historians from around the globe to grapple with the legacies of sexism, homophobia, ableism, and discrimination in all its forms as well. The AHDC 2021 theme, The Little and Missing History, Reconstructing the Past, Confronting Distortion, was created based on these considerations so that we could ensure that our conference was a space in which marginalized voices, histories, and scholarship could be amplified and brought to the forefront of the conversation. Through the nine panels, where around 30 papers were presented, the keynote speech, the round table, and the six networking live sessions, we were able to showcase a multitude of diverse and underrepresented histories, individuals, and events in a way that could be accessible and inclusive to anyone who joined us during the three days of events. As an indigenous person of color living in the global south, it has been a truly humbling experience to chair the AHDC 2021 Diversity and Inclusion Committee. And it is my great pleasure to say that I believe that we have accomplished the accessibility and inclusivity goals that we set out to achieve. Accomplishing said goals, and the entirety of this conference would not have been possible without the remarkable efforts of the many people from all over the globe who volunteered their time and skills to the organization of this event. I would like to specifically acknowledge and thank our conference chair for her admirable dedication and invaluable leading skills, as well as my fellow committee chairs whose work was invaluable in making this conference a success. We would like to thank Touche Digital Events and every member of the organizing committee for their thorough and responsible handling of the many tasks that were carried out behind the scenes in the planning of this conference. I would like to thank our panel, roundtable, and keynote speakers for sharing their expertise and work with all of us and for allowing us to fulfill our goal of presenting a plural and diverse set of papers and research projects. I would also like to thank our main sponsor, Reddit, as well as our multiple private donors, whose generosity allowed us to make this conference a completely free and accessible event. And finally, I would like to extend our deepest thanks to our audience, to each and every person who engaged with our conference in many different ways, from watching the panel recordings and asking questions to participating in our networking sessions. This conference was made for all of you with the conviction that history should always be readily available and should engage with as wide a public as possible. Finally, I would like to offer some words of encouragement our conference has dealt with issues that are pervasive to everyday life, ranging from the mainstreamization of fake news to the spread of hateful and bigotry in the international political landscape. If organizing this event and interacting with all of you has taught me something, it's that there is a genuine interest both within and outside of academia to combat these dangerous tendencies through disciplinary work and respectful dialogue with marginalized, deleted, and missing histories. We can keep working towards a better present by critically revisiting our past so that we can ensure the construction of a more inclusive and diverse future. And now it is time to say goodbye to this year's conference and to all of you who were a part of it. In the language of my ancestors, the Gununa people of Argentina, I thank you. Miach chi chaka. <laughs>